Hi, good evening, everybody. These are historic times for Havelina men's basketball. They have already posted the most conference wins in school history, and now there's yet another milestone to celebrate. We're doing, we're dribbling to the sideline too much, and the angle is there. Here's where the foul takes place. It's hard to call fouls when we're driven to the sideline all the time. Does that make sense? We've got to turn the corner. Okay. All right. For the first time in 24 years, the Havelinas have won at least 20 games. Ironically, their head coach, Johnny Estelle, was the, the star point guard on the last team to win at least 20 games. And that was the 95-96 team. They won 23 games that year. And this year's team, well, they're heading to the Lone Star Conference postseason tournament up in Frisco as the number three seed and really playing as well as anybody else. And to be part of history, not just once, but twice, well, Coach Estelle is pretty ecstatic over the whole thing. Yes, yeah, it's a uh, dream come true, to be honest with you. You know, uh, Bill Carter brought me here uh, 25 years ago. Uh, I came here to help this university win on the court. And now as a coach, I, I, I'm kind of getting to that point, getting that program where hopefully nationally we can be recognized where it was when I was a player. Last year we was good, but I feel like we have, like, a lot more key pieces this year as far as like everybody knows the system, everybody's clicking. And then uh, as far as the expectations for the tournament, I feel that we could really, we could really win it, honestly. Uh, it's been a great year. Um, I think we uh, got off to a very strong start at the beginning of the year and it's enabled us to be in this position to be third in uh, the conference. So I think it's uh, a great year for us and a great way that we started. Um, got a good uh, seed in the tournament, so I think we're going to be just fine. All right, now, as the number three seed now, the Havelinas get an opening round bye, so they won't play until the quarterfinals on Friday when they play the winner of the Dallas Baptist Oklahoma Christian game. I don't want to be the team that plays the Havelinas right now, that is for sure. 